Good morning, my kindergarten scholars. Today we're going to have a fun filled lesson and we're going to review some stuff that we already have learned. So get ready to learn. Okay, we're ready. It says, Hello, kindergarten scholars. Let's see where our learning adventure will take us today. By the end of this lesson, you will be able to say, This is what we're going to be doing. This is your objective. So, this is what we're going to be learning. I can review words with a, x, and j. I can review letter sounds a, x, j. I can review, review this unit high frequency words, many of your sight words. And I can use proper capitalizations and punctuations with exclamation. And if you don't know what an exclamation is, an exclamation is a mark that has a line and a dot at the end of it. And it means to get excited. Like you say it loud, you get excited like, I love ice cream. So you said it with excitement. So an exclamation mark goes at the end. Okay, we're going to blend and segment phonemes. So that means with the ear. That means you need to listen for the sound. We have a little song and it goes to the tune of if you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. Now you see the pictures at the bottom and that's what we're gonna blend and make the sound. And if you know the sound, if you know the word, after we review the sounds, the song says, raise your hand. So if you think you know this word, raise your hand. If you think you know this word, raise your hand. If you think you know this word, then raise your hand and say it. If you think you know this word, raise your hand. Okay, here we go. I. Listen again. I. If you get to guess the word pie, you're correct. Pie. Letter P, I, this says his name, I, and it has an E, it has a silent E at the end. I is also a long sound, and it's also a vowel, I, okay? Next word, E, G. E, G. Can you guess this word? Did you raise your hand? I'm raising my hand. If you guess the word egg, you are correct. The word egg. What about this word? Are we ready? K, A, P, K, A. Now your turn to say it. Yes. K -a -p. What's the word? Cup. It has a measuring cup at the line. So you see this arrow? You see this white arrow? I'm going to bring it over here to cup. I'm putting a circle with the arrow around the word cup. What about j, a, mm. j, a, mm. Let me give you a clue. It has a strawberry on it. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you guys call it jelly, but I'm listening. You listening for this sound? J, a. Mmm. Yes, jam. Jam, jam, jam goes good on some toes. Let's do uh ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. What about that one? Have you guessed about that one? 
Yes, apple, apple a day keeps the doctor away. Great job. Okay, your, da your daily high frequency word. He, her, he is a boy, her is a girl. Make, I like to make pizza, make. Play, we all love to play. And I know some of you guys like to play Roblox. I know, Roblox. Then I ate my pizza, then I drank my soda. Was, I was playing with my dog. From again, one more time. He, her, make, play, then, was. One more time. You have to repeat them so you can remember them in your head and you can see them. He, her, make, play, then, was. Good job. Remember, learning your sight words will make it very, very easy for you to read. And that is your ultimate goal for you to go to first grade to learn how to read. Remember, learning your sight words are very, very important. It says, kindergarten, are you ready to review with ox and j? Review letter sounds ah and o. Ah is the short sound. O is the long sound. X and J, like for jump. J. Ready? Set. Go. Okay, this says phonemic awareness, phonics, alphabet review. So I have a white arrow. So up here, so I'm pointing to the letter A. This whole entire row is all of your uppercase letters or capital letters. Down at the bottom, my arrow down here where you see the little a, that's lowercase a. These are your lowercase or little letters. Um, for uppercase and lowercase, they all make the same sound, all make the same sound. So what I like to do is go through all the alphabets and make the, all of the sounds. So if you can join with me to say your letter sound. So you're looking for the arrow, I got an arrow, the white arrow right here. I'm gonna to point to each uppercase letter or big letter or capital letter. So I'm gonna start with the capital A. So the A says ah, the B says b, the C says k, the D says d, the E says e, eh, the F says the G says g, hard G, g, the H says h, the I says i. The J says J, the K says K, the L says O, the M says M, the N says N, the O says Ah, short, the B, the P says P, the Q says Q, the R says the S says S. 
like a snake. The T says T. The U says Uh. If you're going up, Uh. The B says mm, Like a violin. Play your, with your bow like a violin. Mm. The W says Wah, wah, wah. Wah, wah, wah. The X says the Y says, yeah, yeah. And the Z says, Z. So I'm gonna go back through the alphabet, but I'm gonna uh, go over your vowels. Remember your vowels are A, E, I, O, U, and sometimes Y. So your vowels, A, long, the short, A, the long, A. E, the short is E, eh. long sound, E, I, the long sound is I, the short sound is I, O, ah, remember, short, it says ah, so you're making an O with your mouth, ah, the long O says his name. O, and you're still making an O. O. O, with your mouth. U. Uh. Uh is the short. U is the long. And Y is Y. And Y. Sometimes Y says E too, like ma, E or money, what else, or funny, why is, why is special, good job. Okay, we have an O, and we see octopus, see he has many legs, many arms, and he has eight arms, octopus, it says Ozzy, Octopus. So I'm going to read you a poem, and then you're going to hear all of these ah sounds. It says, Ozzy Octopus. It says, this past October, Ozzy had a big brunch. Oscar the catfish swam over to munch. Ozzy the octopus made an omelet, which are eggs, or two. Ali the otter made hot olive stew. Ah, letter O. It says, Mr. X. Right. It says, Look at Mr. X ray. What do you see? I see Mr. X-Ray smiling at me. X is for X-Ray that I spy. X comes before the letter Y. Mr. X-Ray. The letter J, this is lowercase j. J, j, jumping Jill. Jumping Jill. Okay. Okay. Now you see all of these pictures at the bottom. Now we have the letter T, the letter O, and the letter J. So we're going to do this together. So the first picture is the picture of an ah ah otter. So do you think the letter the otter, the picture of the, of the otter goes under the letter T, the O? or the J. Remember, otter. My mouth made a circle. So if you guess the letter O, he swam to the letter O, so that means he belongs with the O. What about the number 10? Number 10. T -t 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 -t. Let's see where he goes. Let's see. Let me push a button. Do, 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 do. 
T for ten. T, t, ten. J, J, Jeep. J, J, Jeep. Does it go T, A, or J? Yes, J. So it goes under the letter J. Oh, this is the fastest airplane and it's called a J, J, Jet. J, et. So the beginning sound is j, 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 just like j, j, jeep. Click the button. Where does it go? Under the letter j, 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 j. The next one is a t, t, tag. Repeat after me. T, t, tag. And this picture goes under the letter. Let's click the button. Uh oh, wrong way. Sorry, guys. T, 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 tag. Now, this is a type of toy called a t, t, top. T, t, top. And it goes under the letter T. The next picture is a j, j, jar and it goes under the letter j, j, j. So we have the letter T, t the letter O, I, and the letter J, j. Okay, let's do one, uh, some next phonemic awareness. Uh, we have the letter s, X, Again, so six. So when you hear the word the, the word six, you hear the ending sound of the letter X. X, x is at the end of the word six. Because I'm making the x sound. So now this is a fox. So does it go under the letter T or the letter X? Listen to the sound again. Fox. I gave you a clue. I made the letter X. Fox. The next one is a box. Box. So it goes under the letter X. But I have noticed I have some, I heard a rhyming set of words. We had box, box. They both end in ox. So I clapped. That means they rhyme. Good job. Now we have uh, a pot. So both of these, all three of these, all six of these let all six of these pictures. We are listening for the ending sound. Ending. Ending. So we have pot. P -a -t. What was the last sound that I say? P -a -t. Yes, the last sound that I said was the letter T. So pot goes under the letter T, because it has a T at the end. Now we have a meow, which is a cat. And we said T is the ending sound. So it goes under the letter T. And this last picture is a picture of a net. Net. N -e net so it belongs under t so we have the ending sound of and we have the ending sound of t. again we have our sight words make play 
was, her, he, and then. Okay, and we have a, a Dakota Reader, which called, which is says six pigs hop. Six pigs hop. And it's by Dana and illustrated by Kate. So it says by Dana is the author and the illustrator is Kate. Dana wrote the words and Kate, she drew the pictures. So the author writes the word and the illustrator draws the picture. And the title of the book, the book's name, that means the title is called Six Pigs Hop. So it says six pigs sat in a pen. Sit, good pig, sit, said Jen. So we know this story is gonna be about pigs because we see pigs in the picture. And where do pigs live? Look at all the way in the back. The pig lives in the barn and the barn is on a what? A farm, yes. So we know her name, it says, say it, Jen. So her name is Jen. So we have six pigs in a pen and sit, good pig, sit, said Jen. It says six pigs hop in the pen. Hop, pigs, hop, hop, hop. It says all six pigs hop and hop, hop, pigs, hop. Six pigs hop over the top. So if you notice, you kept saying the word hop, hop. So they're hopping. And I, and I see a rhyming set of words too. Hop and top. They both end in op. Remember, rhyming words have the same ending, like cat. Bat. But in this story, it says hop, top. So if you look in this picture, you see all six piggies hopping. Now, if we go to this page over here, what do you think the pigs are doing in this picture? So let's see what they're doing. It says six pigs go for a dip. So they got into the pool or got into the little puddle of water. It says dip pigs, dip, dip. Can six pigs play? Question, can six pigs play? It looked like they're playing to me. They're digging in the water and having fun. I wanna go swimming. The pigs look like they're swimming. It says six pigs can play. Six pigs can see. What's her name? Do you remember her name? She is the main character. Yep. If you said Jen, you have a good memory. Just ja, just ja, Jen. It says six pigs can see Jen. She can see how many pigs? Oops, I was about to give you the answer. How many pigs? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six pigs. Because that's their title of the, of the book. Remember, it was six pigs. Okay, let's go to this page. It says six pigs can sit. You see her six pigs sitting? What do, what do they have in their hand? Yep, they have a shovel. And what is next to them? They have a shovel and a bucket. So if you have a shovel and a bucket, what do you think the pigs are about to do? You go to the beach, or you can go outside, and you got the shovel and you got the bucket. 
Yep, you're right. They're about to dig. Let's see what they're about to dig. It says six pigs can sit. Six pigs can dig in the pen. Dig pigs, dig, said who? What's, what is the main character's name? She's on this page over here. And now she's on this page over here. Yep, Jen. Jen is her name. Okay, good job reading, guys. And now we're going to use proper capitalization punctuations to write. When we write, when we get back to school and write, or you can practice writing this sentence at home right now, we're going to use exclamations. Okay, this is the exclamation point, the exclamation mark, I'm sorry, mark. It has a line, remember I told you at the beginning, it has a line and has a dot at the end of it, meaning that you like it. So this is a I do. So when it's an I do, that means you be quiet and you listen with your ears. And then when we do a we do, then it's your turn to say and repeat after me, okay? It says, I love cake. You see how I got excited by cake? Yes. My favorite cake is cheesecake, strawberry cheesecake. And it says, I love cupcakes. I love cupcakes. Do you like cupcakes? Okay, now this is a we do. It says, repeat after me. I love soup. I love soup. What kind of soup do you like? Do you like tomato soup? Do you like beef stew, which is a kind of soup? Do you like tomato soup? or chicken noodle soup, or broccoli cheddar cheese soup. I love all the soups. Okay. That is the end of our lesson for today. I hope you guys enjoy it. And if you need any help, or if you wanna listen, I mean, learn and look at this video again, you can go on to our Douglas K-8 website. Again, to look at this presentation, I wish you guys the best over the week. Please, please, please wash your hands for 20 seconds. Sing the happy birthday song or sing your ABCs. You remember, keep your hands away from your feet face okay i see you next week have a great week and listen to your mommies and daddies and brothers and sisters okay all right see you later